It's not every day you have a swarm of bees outside your house, but I'm pretty worried the fact they're going to get in. It's 40 degrees in here. We'll be all right for a while. Gee, thanks, Mr. Michael Caine. I, I mean, Sir Michael Caine. Ah, it's a good thing you showed up when you did. But I can't help the feeling that you're not telling me something. Mr. Kane, are you okay? There seems to be a bee coming towards me. Hey everybody, Sanjay here from Meteor. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So um, I've been having a think what type of videos I should do next and kind of uh, touch upon and uh, it's occurred to me that um, I've been updating my collection quite a bit lately. Um, obviously I've got a fantastic package from Orbitation Blue which is still really fantastic and um, I, prior to that I also updated my collection quite a bit through DVDs and Blu-rays that I've bought you know, over the past couple of months which um, I haven't shown within my update collection videos. The time I uh, film them, um, I've already got something new, I've already arranged and uh, placed kind of thing. So um, I figured I would do these kind of like DVD slash Blu-ray pickups, you know, kind of videos, show you what kind of new stuff I'm picking up and getting and, uh, you know, just kind of share what I got and uh, see what you think really. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the first one that I have. The X Men trilogy on Blu ray. Fantastic. Uh, this is the sixth disc set of the, uh, the trilogy, which that means uh, all the special editions basically of each of each uh, film. Uh, of course, includes one, two, and X Men Last Stand. Uh, really fantastic edition on Blu ray. Uh, I paid them about uh, £13 for this at uh, Cash Converters, and um, it took me a while to think um, is it worth it or not? That's, that's what I was thinking. I had £13, and I was thinking, is it actually worth purchasing? I mean, I had fifty pounds. I could have bought anything else. I could have bought something else that I haven't got. And I was thinking for a good while, and I decided, hey, I'll buy it. Why not? It would be a very good purchase indeed. Show you something out, okay? Now uh, this, you get this kind of little out sleeve. So cool. And it's to be definitely worth it. Um, I I watched all three movies on Blu-ray. And uh, the quality is absolutely amazing. Uh, special effects, um, amazing look, look really fantastic. Um, it's so uh, crystal clear. It's so it's really it's really HD picture quality. It's far far better than my DVDs that I had. Uh, that's the thing I was worried about. Like, is it worth uh, you know transfer upgrade kind of thing? And I watched it and I thought, wow, this is absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. Special effects, the colours, amazing. Um, it looks more detailed. It's a lot less grainier, and just a lot of scenes are fantastic. Um, first one, I thought the opening, you know, it's a like really fantastic kind of you know, DNA type scene stuffing, you know, colours journey into. That looks amazing on Blu-ray. Um, the snow sequence when um, he's he's uh, crashed into the car block, he goes flying out the window and he faces Saber Two for just a little bit for a brief time. It the snow's coming down. Wow, that looks really cool. Looks really great. Um, very impressive. Uh, the transfer quality of this. Uh, second one looks amazing. Also, the second one's probably the best one out of the trilogy. I think looks absolutely fantastic. Um, really good stuff. And the third one actually looks pretty good. Also, especially the last um, 20 minutes or so. Uh, special effects where I really crank up the actual, uh, you know, atmosphere of the movie and looks amazing. You know, the uh, colours and the special effects look fantastic. Definitely worth a purchase uh, if you ask me. Of course, here's the uh, inside. Up. You get all the, um, you get the movie. You get the uh, bonus disc, etc. Pretty fantastic stuff. Uh, you get all the extras from the uh, special editions. You get on the DVDs. And I think there's, a, there's a one or two more maybe. Um, I love the new menu systems also, where you get a completely brand new menu. Looks really fantastic. But the third one has the most impressive one. It has kind of like a fireball phoenix type feel, theme to it. Looks amazing, really fantastic. This is definitely worth a purchase if you're thinking about transferring this to uh, the X-Men trilogy to Blu-ray. Um, I'm very, very happy with this purchase and um, I definitely would recommend it. So, X-Men trilogy. Uh, next we have the Midnight Meat Train. 
Now this one I didn't show in my other videos because at the time I just recently picked it up, so that's kind of why. Um, this was a really um, surprising film. And now a friend of mine uh, recommended me this movie, and I decided to watch it. No expectations really. Uh, he just gave me the kind of basic plot storyline, and it turned to be really, really good. Um, it's from the writer of uh, Clive, uh, Clive Baker, um, who's done the Hellraiser series really fantastic and it is really fucking violent and it is really cleverly done uh, storyline wise fantastic and it's a really fantastic twist at the end which you would not see coming if you've not heard about this movie and you have not seen it or whatever go and watch it see what you think you will be guessing you know all sorts of things and the ending you will not guess for sure the ending is really fantastic I really love this movie and it's got um, what's his name what's his name uh, Bradley Cooper this is one of his early movies. Um, this is, of course, he's from um, Hangover, The A Team, uh, My Little Eye. I think everyone knows Bradley Cooper by now. But this is one of his earlier roles. This is before he was, you know, well known kind of thing. Uh, he's really fun in this. Vin, uh, Vinny Diesel is also in this, and he actually plays a pretty decent role in fairness, considering most of his movies he's kind of like brainless and a bit stupid. And he's actually pretty decent in this one. Of course, he's course, the serial killer. That's, that's kind of a given, but. Why is he the serial killer? <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a, the director's cut version, the standard version, also. This is very, very violent, so um, if you are definitely squeamish, then I would not recommend it, considering it is a very violent. It is an 18 for a reason. Uh, there's a lot of great extras also, a lot of into the storyline and the reasons why he kind of did some things in a certain way. Uh, storyline wise is fantastic, acting is fantastic, soundtrack is very creepy, very suspenseful. The twist is also really good also. So if you're interested in a really good horror movie that you you know you're gonna be surprised at, definitely recommend the Midnight Moon Train. Good stuff. Uh, next we have uh, Tron Legacy. This is a movie that I wanted in my collection for a good while now. Um, I picked this up yesterday, funny enough, at a game station for eight pounds, and I felt a little ripped off paying it that kind of price. Um, it was worth it in the end, I suppose, but the condition that I saw it in before was badly, badly uh, broken. Uh, basically, this entire bottom was smashed to creases, um, it was damaged, it was all sorts, I had to replace this case, I had to replace and get it all done. And it says double pack DVD and Blu-ray. I've just got the Blu-ray. So, you know, it's a little disappointing when some people don't take care of their Blu-rays and, you know, look after their stuff. So obviously someone's kept a DVD, so that's probably why they sold it. But nonetheless, um, the Blu-ray works, I've tested it and it's fine, no problem. I'm just happy to have this in my collection. It is still quite expensive online, um, it's still like 10, 10, 10 15 quid online, so I'm happy to have this in my collection. I really like Tron Legacy and, and it's oh, amazing on Blu-ray, absolutely amazing. Uh, this can pretty much the entire movie is like giant special effects on board anyway, so visually amazing so you can be blown away if you have not seen Tron Legacy I definitely recommend it it's got a really fantastic storyline really fantastic acting um, I do want the first Tron also but you know it's just trying to find it and at a good price as well so I'm going to have to see if I can get it unfortunately but first um, I got the second one on Tron Legacy of course but the first one is still on my uh, wish list kind of thing so I will be getting it soon hopefully so yeah Tron Legacy definitely recommend uh, it's got some really good extras also uh, on the back you can see um, I'm looking forward to the third one. Yeah, that's that's currently in pre-production. Looking forward to that. I think it's going to end the trilogy nicely. So definitely recommend Tron Legacy if you've not seen it. It is great. Next we have uh, Nightmare on Street Three: Dream Warriors. Now you're probably wondering, Andrew, why have you put this up? <laughs> uh, this is recommended to me by a friend also, and um, I, I haven't been a massive fan of the of the Nightmare movies. You know, the, um, I love the first one. I absolutely adore the first one. I got the special edition of the first one down there on uh, my shelves. Um, really fantastic. I really adore it, and you know I love how original it is. I watched the second one. Was not impressed to be honest. They went in a, di a direction which I can see why they went in that direction, but it just did not work for me. I wasn't impressed, so I didn't bother watching any the others because I think I was just going to be disappointed, and you know that kind of thing. But uh, my mate said, check out the third one. It is worth watching, and you will be surprised. Um, after watching the um, also, Never Sleep Again, the documentary, which talks about all the movies, which I definitely recommend. I want that also in my collection, that documentary. Um, it talked about this in a bit more detail, and uh, after convincing my friend and the documentary, saying how good it is and how critics liked it, I thought, okay, fine, I'll give it a watch. 
This is two quid in a charity shop. Um, this is definitely worth the money. Um, I watched it and I was really, really glad I did. It was really fantastic. It is just as good as the first one. If, you know, it is a worthy sequel, to be honest. Um, for, they should have done this as the sexual sequel. It's got Nancy back from the first one. Uh, she kind of knows the deal. She knows the character. And, you know, Freddy's obviously he's going after new victims. And there's some really great scenes, some really great um, ideas in this. Put into this. Um, I love uh, prosthetic work. I love uh, practical work. This has a lot of it, and it really pays off well. Um, there's some really good scenes. I love, I love the scene where um, he, uh, her, this, I don't know, I think her name, I don't know what her name is, um, the blonde woman on top. <laughs> blonde woman on top. Uh, she goes into like this kind of like nightmare dream, of course, Freddy puts her out, and like, a giant one comes out, starts eating her. You know, actually, it sounds silly, but it actually works really, really well on the actual big screen. It actually looks really fantastic and looks really real. Um, Nancy comes into the dream just out of nowhere, kind of thing, and Freddy looks at him and goes, you bitch, you know, it's like, well, that's great, that's a great line, you know, because she stopped him in the first one, so, you know, it's like saying, you, I know you, you, you stopped me, I'm going to take care of you, and I like that, it's that, it's that type of confrontation throughout the entire movie, uh, um, he's obviously wants the, the other, you know, teens and all that stuff, and he's also trying to take out his arch nemesis, Nazi, and I like that, it's really fantastic, and uh, there's a bit more of a backstory into who he is, and uh, Freddy's character, into his background, and who he he becomes who he is and uh, like a true way of stopping him kind of thing and I, I like the idea of it and um, it's really fantastic it's done really really well storyline fantastic uh, it is co-written by uh, Wes Kramer so that's probably why it, it is so good so um, yeah they did a great job the soundtrack's fantastic the, the dream sequence nightmare sequence is really really well done and uh, the, the drug sequence when like he's like shooting a rock with drugs that was really terrifying I thought that was whoa I, I'm never taking drugs I, I would never take drugs anyway but that's like a really terrifying fucking scene um, if you um, like, like me watch the first one but not interested in the others I definitely recommend Dream Warriors um, it is the sequel that should have been and it kind of ends that kind of arc um, so yeah it's up to you what you think so yeah Dream Warriors I mean actually for it good stuff and lastly we have the Expandables Extend Director's Cut Fan fucking tastic. Um, I recommended this to Horace Hogger Wimp and he happily purchased it and uh, he's using a little video for it, so I'm gonna put it in the description link below so you can check that out. Uh, this is a really fantastic edition. Uh, when the first time I watched this, um, I was really blown away and I was really, really happy. Um, when I watched the theatrical version of the Expandables, I watched it at the cinemas and I watched it on DVD on DVD. Again, my opinion said the same. It was okay, weak storyline, okay characters. Um, good action scenes, but you know nothing really amazingly special. And when I watched this, I was blown away. This did everything that I wanted, and so much more. It was fantastic. Uh, it features ten minutes of extra footage, which I think is a bit underrated. I think um, there is a lot more than just ten minutes of extra footage for sure. Um, he, Sylvester Stallone has re-edited this entire movie. Uh, the opening is completely different. It's got a re brand new fantastic uh, title sequence and um, it's got a brand new soundtrack also amazing stuff uh, the scene that um, I think some of you may know of which I think I've expressed um, is the scene where the building is basically they just destroy the entire building and they come you know basically running into you know, they got like an entire army outside and they go st storming in guns blazing kind of thing and it plays the song which I wanted in the theatrical version which they did not do was Shine Down, Diamond Eyes. Um, if you have noticed that song, go and check it out. It is an amazing song, really fantastic, really action-packed song. And when I was watching the film, this director's cut, um, the song came up at the scene. It was like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I was blown away. That scene, it, was, it cranked up that scene so much. I was so happy. I think I, I rewinded that scene so many fucking damn times. I watched the scene so many times. I think I'm never going to get bored of it, seriously. It is an amazing scene. They use the entire song on that piece of uh, footage. Basically, imagine that song, uh, Diamond Eyes, with like explosions, gunfire, you know, karate moves, uh, you know, all sorts of things going on. It, it is a, and that scene is a lot longer as well. That is an extended scene. That entire explosions, you know, ticking down the army's ass kind of thing. Amazing scene. Um, there's more character development also. It has more into each of the characters and the backgrounds and who they are. I really appreciate it. that's what I wanted to know. You know, it makes them a bit more flesh and blood people, you know, not just ashen, you know, ashen icons kind of thing, you know, going in, saving their like commando kind of thing. It's they got more of a depth to them, they got more of a 
each one got their own characteristics and their own got their own kind of backgrounds and uh, some of the family. I mean, Terry Crews' character, he has three daughters. I did not know that's in the theatrical version. It's, it's, it shows it more in this version. You know, one of the reasons why he's doing this kind of thing. And it's amazing. It really is fantastic. Um, this edition, I can't, I highly recommend it. If you were disappointed by the theatrical version, um, I definitely recommend this. It is the full version of the movie. It is what is originally meant to be tended. Now, um, let's talk about this edition for a minute. Um, when you play, if you've got the D, have you, if you've got this Blu-ray version, of course, and um, you're going to get an intro to Sylvester Stallone the onset of Expendables 2, you're kind of introducing the DVD. It's really fantastic. Um, it's kind of saying, you know, well, thanks for buying kind of thing. That's fine. That's really great. And before you play the movie, there's also a uh, feature with uh, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, I think I'm about five or seven minutes talking about the actual like editing process and the reasons why he um, uh, chose to go that direction with the theatrical version, this direction with the extended version, and um, yeah, really fantastic. And it just shows a bit more into um, his kind of directing style and his editing style, and you know, just thinking on his feet. It's really fantastic. Um, all extras also, you also get like a music video, and you get a, the best extra is the Inferno, the making of the Expendables. That's an hour and a half extra. That is really fantastic. Um, um, I definitely recommend watching that if um, if you like this version or you want to know more about the film, watch that extra. Um, I watched it forward to the end and it is amazing. Um, it's basically just alone and like you know uh, producers, um, uh, actors, uh, makeup guys, all sorts of people. You know, on sets like four or five on sets, and it's him talking about the movie. And um, there's, there's, there's a lot of hidden footage in how he directs because there's a scene where, like, of course, he's the, like the director, writer, and star in the movie, and he talks about how the challenges and the, a lot of physical stuff he has to do, and the, the combats and the fighting scenes and the actions he has to do. Amazing stuff. Um, we went deep into the movie and you know uh, why he did certain things a certain way. And um, I actually have a lot more respect for this movie now after watching that extra. I think next time I watch the movie, I will keep what I know in that extra in mind and thinking Jesus this is actually a lot more hard work is going to this movie than just meets the eye you know you think action movie you think you know easy it's not easy it's got a lot of shit to do this kind of stuff and stunts here to do so I really appreciate what he did and delivered the version which I always wanted and um, hopefully I have <laughs> um, definitely recommend this version if you have not seen if, if you have said you're disappointed by the theatrical version definitely recommend the extended version you would not be disappointed. Um, it still has a couple of flaws now and again, but you know, you can't have perfection. Looking forward to the second one, but to be honest, I think it's going to be edited for crap. Um, also, one thing I want to say um, is the different editions. Okay, uh, the DVD is the 15 um, theatrical version, which is of the cinemas. Uh, the Blu ray is the um, theatrical version unedited, or well, no, well, uncut edition, which makes it an 18, which is basically all the violence, um, all the swearing, everything back in. But still the theatrical version, which has a lot of extra still, of course. And this version is the um, uncut, um, extended director's cut, the full version, which was meant, originally meant to be intended at the cinemas. You know, re soundtrack, re edited kind of thing. So this is the version which you can look out for. Unfortunately, it doesn't have all the extras from the uh, Blu ray, the theatrical Blu ray version. So if you do have that Blu ray edition, I recommend you keep hold of it for the extra pairs of the gag reels and, you know, other makings of and stuff. So yeah, good stuff. We really have to have this in my collection. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's a small little DVD update and Blu ray update there. I um, hope you enjoy watching this little video. Um, I do have a couple of others which I'm going to show, but I think it's going to be another video. I don't want to make this a bit too long. What do you think? Comment down below if uh, what are your thoughts and opinions about the movies that I've shown here. So, yeah, in the meantime, this is Andrea from Media Farm Game TV. Signing out.